You know, when Rance got to camp and I got to meet him and Herb, I was really excited about hunting with these guys. I could tell that they really took it serious. Uh, they were both in good shape. I could tell that we had a lot of the same values and so I knew we were gonna hit it off and I knew it was gonna be a great time hunting with these guys. Absolutely, Rance. Two really good shots right there. Yeah. It doesn't happen, it's not the rifle. Yeah, that's great shooting, especially doing it a little bit western like we're doing, you know what I mean? <laughs> Off the bed of the truck. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wind blowing. Wind blowing. And... Oh, yeah. That's how we grew up, that's how I grew up doing it, so yeah. yeah. I decided to put in for unit nine, and I, I drew the tag. And I contacted Steve, and what I liked about Steve is, even though he's really busy, you contact him, he's, he's really quick on a response. He's really upbeat, and we just visited two or three times. And within that time, I decided that I think Steve would be a guy, a uh, person that knows the unit, could have a good quality hunt, as well as a chance at a good bull. Well, early on in the hunt, we returned to an area where I had some good success during the archery hunt, and it didn't disappoint. You know, the bulls were bugling after gray light, and we heard a bull bugling out to the north of us, so we approached him and hoped that we could see him. You know, after this first small bull left, I continued to cow call with hopes that the more mature sounding bull might show up and let us take a look at him too. Elk Camp with Steve Chappell is brought to you by Bergara Rifles. Our barrels make the difference. Rocky Mountain Hunting Calls. We call the game. Zeiss Sports Optics. Confidence in the toughest conditions. Scree Extreme Mountain Gear. And by Steve Chappell's Zero Hunt Fees. Experience Arizona elk hunting with zero hunt fees. Elk Camp with Steve Chappell is brought to you by Bergara Rifles. Our barrels make the difference. Well, the next morning as we moved along trying to get on some bugling bulls, it was pretty slow to start with. And then my hunter Rance spotted a small group of elk with some small bulls off the side of the road. So I decided with nothing else going on that we would just get out and take a look at them since there was a little bit of bugling as we stepped out.
I would describe Steve's calling style as aggressive. I learned some new techniques. Uh, I feel I'm a good hunter, but I think Steve helped me become a better hunter. And so his style is aggressive. Get in close, get in tight, and make them come to you. And you're able to see a lot of bulls that maybe you might not have been able to see with other styles of hunting. set up on a pond that we found a couple of mornings ago and um, it's hot with sign it's not on any map so we think it's a really good spot there's already a bull bugling off probably less than a half mile away and I think he's approaching right now so yeah. things might get good here at Elk Camp tonight Wind, so wind's perfect yeah. sun's perfect yeah the perfect setup Well, that evening we decided to go ahead and hunt a pond that was hidden that we had found a couple of mornings prior. And as we sat there, we could hear a bull bugling off in the distance. And uh, as the evening wore on, we could tell he was getting closer and closer and we were hopeful that we were gonna get a scene that evening. Well, after hitting the water, unexpectedly, all of a sudden, one of the mature cows got out and started walking right in our direction, and I knew it was going to get really tight and really intense for us.
This episode of Elk Camp is sponsored by Zeiss Sports Optics. Confidence in the toughest conditions. This episode of Elk Camp is sponsored by Scree. Extreme Mountain Gear. Well, the following morning, we decided to go hunt an area that was very open. But I would gotten a tip from a couple of good friends that there were some elk down in that area, so we decided to take our chances and go try this area out. Having a bull at close range and screaming at you is really one of the things that people, if you have never experienced before, uh, it's, it's an experience that never gets old. Just seeing those bulls that close, that angry, that enraged, that engaged, looking for something to fight, it's something to see up close. This episode of Elk Camp is sponsored by Rocky Mountain Hunting Calls. We call the game. Hey guys, for this week's tip, I want to demonstrate the chuckle for you. Now I feel that the chuckle conveys more emotion and punctuation at the end of a bull's bugle. And in the right scenario, you can use this call to be the difference maker for you as you're calling to bulls out there. So now that you know about the call, let me demonstrate it for you. Guys, remember you can use the chuckle to convey more emotion at the end of your bugles and sometimes it can be just the difference maker that you need. I want to wish all of you the best of luck on your hunts this fall. This episode of Elk Camp is sponsored by Steve Chappell's Zero Hunt Fees. Experience Arizona elk hunting with Zero Hunt Fees. The bull that I, we were finally able to kill was a great experience. So it's kind of a little long drawn out, but to uh, cut to the quick, we had located that bull that morning. Couldn't quite get on him, being really thick. We, we backed off in the morning and uh, went back in that afternoon, located him. We had a good idea that he was bedded up close to where we left him.
Thanks, brother. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> awesome. Ooh. Nice job, Rance. You never know with these herd bulls. Man, thank the Lord he made a mistake this evening. This, yeah, he's a beauty. <laughs> he is a beauty. Yeah. These herd bulls are tough. <laughs> I foxed him this evening. That is really cool. Yeah, you, you heard you were right about the main games. One tipping up and the other one tailing down. Pretty fun. Yeah. And, and, and tops it all off is the, uh, just the hunt. I mean, every day we were in bulls. Yeah. Um, it wasn't like we didn't, this was the only one we saw the whole right. hunt. I mean, right. we went, and then all the different country we hunted and saw bulls in every yep. piece of the unit, really. Yep. Um, Called a few in, but they were all, you know, not, not as big as this one, so we let them walk. Let them, and, let them walk. Um, but we got on this bull this morning and yep. couldn't kill him this morning, but made a plan this afternoon and it was almost too good to be true. So it worked out well. Like I said a minute ago, I'm just thanking the Lord that it all came together for us this evening. Just an answer of prayer for sure. So I got to give kudos to my, my best friend Herb's here with Absolutely. us. And uh, he, he offered, we've both Get been looking in for this hunt for a long time. <laughs> so. Yeah, Herb is like the best tracker and just has instincts like I've never seen before. I mean, well, sort of. <laughs> a lot of luck. No, no, you're pretty amazing. Yeah, I say I would like to combine my calling with your savvy, you know, your tracking and all of that. But you and I would be like a team, man. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we all three make a good team, yeah. all of us. So it all happened yeah. well, yeah. and it so great. absolutely great. It was a great bull. hunt. So yeah. Yeah, we're happy to get bloody and stinky tonight, right guys? Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. This is what matters yeah, awesome ending. Awesome yes. job, Rance. Way to go. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this Arizona elk episode. You know, I've got some great news for you. I've got a program here in Arizona called Zero Hunt Fees. And what Zero Hunt Fees does is it allows you to come hunt with us regardless of your finances. So if you're curious to find out more about this unique program, please log on to ZeroHuntFees.com and see how this program truly does make it possible for you to come enjoy a great elk hunt with us just like the ones you see here at Elk Camp.